Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, I want to share with you all some tips for PvP in Final Fantasy XIV. Now, the reason that we're doing this video out of the blue is twofold. For one, they are finally removing the Grand Company restrictions on front lines, meaning that as of patch 3.5 on January 17th, you no longer are queuing just with members of your own Grand Company, and we're expecting this to speed up the queues on front lines significantly. The other reason is that alongside patch 3.5, a new collaboration event with the live action slash anime TV drama known as Gato will be commencing and in order to get the armor you can either use Manderville gold saucer points or you can get it with wolf marks from PvP whether that be front lines or the feast. So I figured with a lot of people probably jumping into PvP for the first time with both the Grand Company restrictions and the event going on it would probably be a good idea to give those first timers a few tips to help them get into the fray. Now I do openly welcome more advice to be given in the comment section of the video below especially because I'm not going to be going into too many specific here. Definitely scroll down if you're somebody who's looking for even more information and tips jumping into PvP. So first of all, before even queuing for PvP, first of all, unlock PvP. I believe you'll still be unlocking that at your Grand Company, it just won't have the queuing requirement anymore. Now that you've done that, head over to your PvP profile and set keybinds for your PvP abilities. I know that it's going to be tough finding even more hotbar space for some of these things. What I like to do is look at the abilities that I kind of don't need too much and move PvP abilities into the slots when I need to actually use them. A big one is Purify, which cleanses all debuffs off. You use it to break stuns, you use it to get rid of powerful debuffs like summoner dots or defense minuses or things like that, but there are a bunch of other key skills there that you're definitely going to want to get familiar with. As you level up, you're also going to be getting action points, which you can use to enhance these abilities, so definitely be familiar with the ones that are popular to upgrade first. Once you've got your PvP ability set, now you're going to talk about gear. Now, gear doesn't matter too much because PvP is item level capped, but you still want to get as much direct damage stats as possible. The normal recommended accuracy for PvP is 410. For what reason? I don't know. I googled it before I made this video. You're also going to want to aim to have at least 10,000 HP while getting as much crit and determination as possible, even if it means using vitality accessories. The main reason why you need the 10,000 HP is to survive a melee limit break. It's super important, especially if you're a healer, to not get one shot by that ability. Now that you've done these preps, you're going to queue up for PvP and you're going to be thrown into what is known as the pre-match, where you're basically given a little bit over a minute, about a minute and a half, to prepare yourself for the coming battle. Now while you're waiting in the pre-match circle, first thing, be sure to turn on your stances and buffs. That's poisons, fists, sects for uh, astrologian. Make sure you turn those on now. Also, if you look at your composition for your individual party, try to ensure you have at least two healers and one tank per team. It helps to have a good variety and you definitely want to make sure you have the support to protect the frontline DPS while they go for the kills. And finally, while you're sitting there for that 90 or so seconds, definitely read your chat. Very often there's going to be people that are posting strategies and want you to follow along, and if everyone's on the same page, you have way better of a chance than if you try running off doing something on your own. Once the match starts, there's a few general tips that you're going to want. For one, don't wander off and die. Dying not only gives points to the enemy team, but it costs your team points, and you don't want to do that when you're really close to a victory. Also, a reminder to that thing that you were doing in the pre-match, read the chat. Often people are announcing locations of new nodes or asking the team to reposition, and again, always better to be on the same page as the rest of your team. Heck, if you can, keep your minimap open. It's better to see the map evolving as you play instead of waiting for somebody else to call what's going on. Now that you're getting into the fray, here's a little bit more general advice for when you're actually engaging in combat. The one thing you're definitely going to want to do if you're a DPS is learn a burst combo. This is basically a combo of abilities that you can execute as quickly as possible to burst somebody down without giving them the opportunity to fight back. Coordinating crowd control, meaning abilities like stuns and sleeps, and bursting onto the healers can quickly remove the support the enemy group has. You can even do the same on the enemy frontline DPS to make sure they don't do that to your healers. And always watch for players overextending and chasing your team without the support of their team, and turn on them when the opportunity arises. Now even though you're doing all that fighting, this is a big one. Always be fighting over an objective. Yes, there are going to be times where you meet somebody random out in the field and you do a 1v1 or a 2v2 kind of battle. It's going to happen. But if you can, always be aiming to fight around or for objectives. It makes it easier to reposition and it makes it so that if you do win the ensuing battle, you're taking something immediately afterwards. 
Finally, one last little piece of advice. If you're on the opposite side of the map from where your base is and you need to get back to your base, whether to defend it or to cap a point that was just outside of your base, it's most of the time going to be faster for you to return, use the return command that is, instead of actually running all the way back to your base. Just a quick little tip for getting around the map faster. And that's going to be it for the tips that I choose to include in this video. I know there's plenty more out there, especially when talking about individual classes, jobs, roles, etc. So comment section, I'm relying on you for this one because otherwise we're going to be here for a while. I would like to give one little reminder, however, there's going to be a lot of people jumping into PvP for the first time, whether they never did it before because of Grand Company restrictions, because of the queues because of Grand Company restrictions, they just didn't have any general interest in it, or they just want wolf marks for their new collaboration event items, it's going to be a lot of people jumping in who aren't necessarily as skilled or as knowledgeable about PvP as the general PvP community that exists currently. I just ask that we welcome them, we teach them, and we ensure that we actually foster a bigger PvP community as opposed to shutting out the people who are new or trying it for the first time just because they may not be as knowledgeable or as skilled as the people who have been doing it for months and months and months at this point. It's always better to act like a community than it is to divide it. Anyway, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you all in front lines. Until then, take care.